sustain and maintain. I've made an effort to practice sustainability since the beginning. The more time I've spent immersed, the more wisdom, knowledge, and understanding I've gained. Set aside pride and greed, and when the gifts are given, I take only what I need. For it is said that the exalted shall be humbled, and the humbled exalted. I prefer to lead through example and let my actions speak the words. And we're out here in a remote part of Maui, hunting Onos in a full moon phase, loading my Cap Cubera 150 laser sharp accuracy cannon of a gun, an un Ono hunting tool that I love and I'm very grateful for. Bringing my flashers into the water, my buzz bomb sinks down. We start letting it rain some chum. You can see the plankton that's bloomed with the full moon. And the Onos, they show up in all their glory. I drop down, try not to pay any attention to the fish. Maybe to get them inquisitive with me. As I'm falling, I spiral down, barrel roll onto the Onos. Bring them in close enough within range of my Cap Kubera and let a shaft fly right mid-body into this Ono here. You can see Aaron's angle. Didn't really hurt the fish too much when I shot it, and the fish casually swam around for a little bit. Even passing by my flashers here, you can see the shaft dragging as the slip tip's engaged on the other side of the fish. All lit up, very beautiful. And at this point, the Ono spooled about two thirds of my reel and still seemed like he had a lot of life left into him. So I clip off my gun to the reel on my belt and let this Ono take off as I'm following the fish, kicking as hard as I can and gaining ground back, getting all my re uh, belt reel line back and then back to the line from the reel on my gun. Pulling the Ono up, I see my mid body shot grab the fish by his tail to immobilize it, take the knife through the gill membrane, and right into the head, putting suffering to a minimum, and just super stoked on landing this big, beautiful Ono. Awesome, awesome fish. One of my favorite fish in the world to hunt. They're elusive and they're almost magical the way they show up and disappear, the way they glide through the water so effortlessly really really is a beautiful thing beautiful animal finely tuned hunting machine Marco just landed a couple Onos here we are with our first round of Onos get everything situated back out to the water and sure enough here comes some more give it a couple power kicks to this one and let the shaft fly this Ono I hit in the back third of the fish where there's a little bit more sinuous in the meat little more density for my gear to hold on to so it doesn't rip through the soft flesh of the fish. And you can see me swimming in the direction that the fish is swimming as it's after it's shot to prevent any distancing from the fish. Hook up to the belt reel. This one's still got a lot of life left into it. Playing with the drag on my belt reel and letting my gun go. So here I am retrieving the gun and getting uh, the line back from the reel on my gun. Finally pulling up the Ono from the depths. And I like to dive down when I retrieve an Ono. This is a lot of times where air occurs and fish are lost. So I make an effort to go down, grab the tail, immobilizing the fish, keeping it upside down. And then I slide my other hand up into its gills so it can't swim or bite me with its razor sharp teeth. You can see the highly oxygenated bright, bright red blood sliding the knife through the gill membrane and into the, uh, the head of the fish, killing the fish as fast as possible, taking the blood out of the meat so it doesn't overheat, keeps the fish cool, keeps the meat perfect. And swimming back to the boat with another big Ono in my hands. Here we have both of the Onos that I shot that day, a 37 pounder and a 35 pounder. Good sized fish regardless, but for Hawaii, those are, uh, those are big Onos. Thanks for watching.